Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about next security plugin. Simply go to plugins, add new, and search for You can simply search for security or you can search by name. The one of the most famous and one of the best security plugins used is WordFence. Why I let you search the keyword security so you can see all of the security plugins being used worldwide. First one, this one WordFence, it has 4 million plus active installations. It has free and paid both versions. Then all-in-one security. I think this these two have uh, one one million each. Then is Jetpack security. This one has five million uh, installations active. This one has eight hundred thousand. This is where SiteGround. SiteGround is a hosting company like GoDaddy or uh, Blue Ocean. There are other some other smaller uh, security plugins. This is there is one WP Hide. This is security enhancer. This one Malcare. This is a new one. It is uh, growing fast. One of the fastest growing. They keep updating their uh, security options. But the best one, this. Also is good WP hardening fix your WordPress security by Astra. This this is one of the good ones. WP hide hide my WP ghost security plugin. When you see their plugins, you will see more plugins by them. This all the security feature features brute force limit login website activity logs and security tweaks you can change the wordpress admin url that directly gives you edge over all the attacks before anybody could attack you they need to go to your website slash wp admin you can see that wp admin page can be hidden using this or the previous uh, video i did by uh, loginizer in that one also you can hide that in this video we are going to learn about limit login attempts let's click install now it might say take some time what limit login attempts does it limits the login attempts you can see the screenshots if there are three failed attempts all these settings you can set the uh, plugin has been installed let's activate it after activating it is asking you that you need to no thanks you need to update that uh, upgrade that if you would like to upgrade you can use it you don't need okay let's auto enable it fine now you can see this is the basic page where they show total failed login attempts globally by premium users not by free users and the main countries being used for failed login attempts you can see the tools or global options these options can also be seen on the top menu there this is dashboard here settings under settings gdpr compliance this is uh, an compliance message your email how many after how many failed attempts you need to you can make it five you can make it 50 or you can make it uh, two or three normally you we do that these are furthermore settings lock local app lock out for allowed tries and lock out for 20 minutes you can extend that time to 200 minutes or two minutes so if somebody keeps trying they will be logged out or locked out for 20 minutes 
and if the for four tries if more than four times locked out they will be banned that ip will be banned for 24 hours if you have any trusted ip you will put your ip there any customization you can put the code and you you will be able to do further premium features after making changes don't forget to save next are the logs it will show you any lockouts any block list any allowed list this is the safe list called allowed list you can even allow safe usernames or block usernames after making changes you can block it you can debug These, this is debug information you can get help from there or you can see the premium extensions you can see what the professional or premium plus features has you can have 200 requests per month 200,000 200k requests you cannot auto block block any IP or you you access active cloud black block list active cloud means if there are any bots that are automatically attacking the system will block them in the free versions all these things intelligent IP blocking are not available they are available in premium features if you would like to upgrade you can click upgrade it will take you to login attempts page and it is not uh, much expensive you can just put seven dollars per month for one domain or you can put unlimited domains and 299 annual price that is annually you have to pay you can secure up to 25 domains if you want one domain you can get 79 or 80 dollars you get instead of 95 you will pay 80 you get two months for free same goes for others and same go further there features lockout between multiple sites these things now what this will do let us try in private and we try with the same URL and we try to get lockouts one two three four so you are logged out, logged out for 20 minutes. Now let us go and check logs. Under logs you can see there is one lockout since last reset. That's This is the IP and time which user was tried and what was the gateway. If you would like to unlock it, you can click unlock and then you can try again. See again it shows. So that is how you can unlock or lock your IPs. Now you can see this is the IP being used. Uh, we can put that IP in a loud list, safe list, save. So now you can see our IP has, it is allowed, it will remain three attempts always. It will not lock out our IP. Same way if you have your IP registered. Now there it shows how many failed attempts we have this. If you go to dashboard, it will show there as well. Yeah, it shows how many failed login attempts for past 24 hours. Now this is one. Let's see the next security plugin. I will continue in the same uh, video I hope I'm not prolonging it now this is word fence login security 
it has the same uh, features like our limit login attempts reloaded like our that plugin but this one word fence has more installations more enhancements let's try to activate it if this works separately separate from the main plugin yes login security is there you can see here what it gives us you can get full wordpress uh, wordfence login uh, plugin there wordfence plugin not login plugin now this gives you a separate security that is for current user you can use multi factor authentication you can use code from the app you can download these codes or you can scan this in authenticator app like authenticator app uh, this is by Google and this is by Microsoft these two applications this is Google authenticator and this is Microsoft authenticator these two applications they help you generate these uh, multi-factor authentication codes you can scan using that and after this it will be activated you have to after scanning this you put the code here and you will get the activation in further settings of this you will see how many administrator users how many cashiers how many other users you can set multi-factor authentication required for administrators or not required for administrators for example this one you can put optional and grace period at 10 days means within 10 days they have to start using it allow remembering device for 30 days if you allow that then it will be if not leave it and leave it unchecked next is XML RPC call authentication if you skip it then it will be skipped you can disable XML RPC this is a backend API that calls uh, if you would like to disable it you can disable it and if you click required it will be required you can further integrate it with WooCommerce WooCommerce is for converting your WordPress site into an e-commerce site for buying and selling or just by selling it can be a marketplace or just for selling a single uh, market or single product you can use two-factor authentication on WooCommerce account page short code then this short code will be used and use single column layout if you would like to enable reCAPTCHA this is by Google you can get reCAPTCHA go to reCAPTCHA service on the admin page you will get the uh, code here you will enter that code like this you have one side there will be settings keys let's copy this key and paste it here that is how we are going to this is side key this is side key and this is the secret key uh -huh. so when you enter those settings you can get how to get IPs you can you use the recommended setting that is by visitor IP address you can get other uh, features as, as well like remote address uh, for six HTTP header stuff like that you can end NTP is currently disabled or means it should be within the uh, synchronization of remote time you want to disable enable or disable up to you if you do that you will know that only administrators can use it show last login column on WordPress user page if you go to users you will be able to see the last login okay this came new this was not there before because we added this plugin now delete login security tables on deactivation if you deactivate the login table should be deactivated deleted or removed 
so these two are best plugins for security protection to protect your WordPress website. I hope you like the video. Thank you very much for watching.